Wolfsburg entertained Gladbach, ninth against fourth. And Wolfsburg have won their last six home games against Borussia Mönchengladbach. Gladbach have not won here since November 2003. There's never been a fourth place team with so many points after 19 match days as Borussia Mönchengladbach. But Felix Maggot, while he's never lost a home game against Borussia in seven wins and four draws time. So we join the game in the fourth minute with Wolfsburg on the attack. Sissoko in his first game for Wolfsburg with a shot on Ter Stegen's goal. Felix Maggot's now had 36 players play for him this season. That's a new Bundesliga record even by Felix Maggot's standards. He held the previous record, of course, 35 at Frankfurt. Six minutes gone, a chance for the visitors. Patrick Hammond shooting with the outside of his foot when possibly he should have considered doing something else with it. Not offsides, as you can see. Biggest ever win for Wolfsburg was a 7-1 against Gladbach back in 1998. They win more often against them than against any other team. As the half-hour approach, throw in from Schaefer, Di Jager, and then eventually young Sebastian Polter with the shot that was saved by Ter Stegen. Polter has come on as a sub in the last two home games and scored goals. A little deflection off of Dante on that occasion. An attack on 36 minutes for the visitors. Nordweid getting the ball into the box and Hanka had the ball in the back of the net. But his celebrations were cut short by referee Peter Galgerman. Big question mark from his coach, Lucien Favre. And when you look at that again, very harsh offside decision, possibly a knife edge call. But in the end, the goal disallowed. So at half time, 0 0. Patrick Helmis of Wolfsburg on the bench, unable to get a game and unable to even get into the squad for the bench. Five minutes after the restart. And the home team applying some pressure. Schaefer and Mansukic with the one-two. And once again, Polter arriving, but just a fraction too late to make good on that cross. A lucky escape for Munchen Gladbach. Then, three minutes later, corner Ashkan Dijaga. Big men up from the back. One of them, Felipe Lopez with the header. Just over the crossbar, agonizingly close for the home team. Never ended goalless in all the 23 previous Bundesliga games between these two teams. And that was the closest so far that one of the teams had come to breaking the deadlock. Just a minute later, Dante to Nordweit. Josue intercepts the pass. The Brazilian gets the shot away, but extremely good save by Marc-Andre Testegen. Looks even better from behind the goal. Saving the defensive blushes of his teammates. This period of the game, a lot happening. The shot from Nordweid flashing past Diego Bonaglio. The Swiss international possibly getting just a finger on that save. Royce feeling the effects of that challenge from Josue. The ball going past the upright, though. Lucien Favre possibly ordering his takeaway menu for afterwards, but maybe it was tactical. 64 minutes gone. Sio on the pitch. He'd been on just a couple of minutes. Schaefer, his cross. Polter can't get there. Sio can. Ball's in the back of the net. But Polter was offside as that ball came in. And the replay shows quite clearly there's daylight between him and Dante. And the flag up. Goal ruled out. Five minutes later. Long kick from Bonaglio, Mandzukic's header. Neustetter takes it on the chest, lobs it forward. Hanka, Hermann, delightful pass to Royce. Royce has to score, but for some reason doesn't. Well, Royce said in the interview after the game he didn't know that Hanka was there, but from this angle it looks as if he was trying to set up his teammate. Wrong choice from Marco Royce. Hands on head. He knows he should have done better. Dying moments of the game. Long ball from Arango. Looking to hit Hellman. But it's Bonaglio that gets there with his head first. 
And Bonaglia also hit something that he really didn't want to. But most importantly, he kept the ball out. So, at the end of the match, all square. It's never-ending goalless. Well, it has now. 0-0, the final score. They'll have to settle for a point apiece.